all right so um welcome back to another video guys today is another day and uh we are going to be walking you through i'm going to walk you through sorry how to use the video sound presentation software this is the first presentation software i was ever introduced to and it's a very simple and easy one i use for for um church services and it's a very cool one i would like to take you guys through just the basics and some fundamental stuff you have to know about the software and we'll just go straight into it so first of all this is the user interface of the software maybe once you download it first of all you'll be having your something like this to look something like this uh you have no songs actually i've saved a lot of them so i have songs and uh, other stuff i created for service presentations so what you have to do is to, uh, to just hit the edit mode and you'll get this looking um, nice looking user interface all right so let's go into the video so first of all this is a song, the song book so any new um uh, presentation or let me say song it's not necessarily song but let's see the sermon uh the service plan and everything can also come here i have service orders here and stuff over here is the bibles i have different type of bibles i have the three bibles here the uh, the english bibles are also here and yeah you can download them i think there are plugins that you can use to install them i'll do them in another video and um yeah to add let's say maybe you want to just keep this one over there okay you can double tap or you can just add a click on the add button and to move to the agenda without a name so first of all you can see the agenda as well yeah but we'll just go straight to the basics and we'll come back to that so over here i have my songs i have a lot of songs so let me just set for um okay you let me just go with this so you want to project this song and you just move here where you can view what you are about to project live double click and it goes live yeah we'll come back to that and let's move to this side this this side there are a lot of stuff here this is when you want to let your presentation go live on the screen so you just click on it then it goes live right now i'm not using um right now i'm not having uh any hdmi connected so i can't project i can't show you what's going on here so uh, for the meantime, if you are yours is connected, you just hit this button and it goes to the display monitor. Then over here is what when you want to freeze uh, what is on the live out output uh, as at that time. Yeah, so you can do any other thing. You can project any other thing to check what you are doing. But on the main screen, it won't show like this. You will see yours over here like this. Until you hit the freeze button and freeze button, then you can get the... Uh, the display going live to the other screen yes that's it about the freeze and i think this showed um i've not really used this but let's see it says preserves the currently presenting song slides and i to work agenda over here. all right uh i think it's somehow explanatory but i've not really used that feature before this is display the text i think i've used this before but i can't really remember what it did uh let's try it and see ah uh, okay 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 so you can have the background and let's say um you want to change the verse or something you want to okay i want to look for a song with different uh, verses so that i can try this feature so i'm projecting this and let's say this was not the right song i was supposed to project i can take the words off and look for the second one is that what this is meant for well that's what it really does then over here it says um switches the screen off um oh okay okay it projects the main um screen for the projection software like the main uh, default uh, let me see background picture we have for the and over here i think uh okay all right all right nice um i'm still getting used to this it's been a long time i use this so i'm just trying to go over how it was done and the basic things you just have to know about this over here we have backgrounds and on the backgrounds page if you click here it gives you all the images that you need for projection you can switch between any of them yeah any of them you want to use let me look for um uh, let me just go with the church logo um sorry you have to select service order so before i continue first of all when you get the software uh try and create a service order especially if you're using it for church programs create a service order agenda work i'm opening prayer all these uh, stuff are what you use for service so you can create them if you want me to do it for you for you to know the different layers as well let me know in the comments so that i 
put it in the description or in the comment section so that I can do that. Yes. And over here, they have listed all of them for me. So I can go uh, according to how I've planned each and every one of them. It's very simple. You can also change the animations from here. And also the screen size, depending on what you are using. Let's say I use an LED screen, a TV, a projector. We have different uh, display sizes here so that to make your view uh, better for you. Yeah, that's it about this side as well. So over here, let's say I have Wacom. Um, let's say I want to change this picture. Normally, when you just click on it, then you come look for your picture. Uh, it should be able to project. Let me see if I can get... Um, uh, let's go with... Uh, let's go with this. Alright, so now it has changed the background picture of this agenda. So anytime I go back to agenda, that's what I'm supposed to see. Yes, but it's already on welcome. That's why it repeated itself. Well, that's it about that side as well. Then we have edit. Well, for edit, we will not go there right now. Maybe in the next part of this video, we'll do that, which is maybe a part two. Okay, so let's say you want to create a new presentation. Uh, maybe the sermon, the speaker, the scripture reference, and all those kind of stuff. What you have to do, just go back to edit. Then new song, you have new song over here. Then you create it. Then now you can start doing something. So the speaker, then you go to topic, then scripture, then let me see. What else should we do? Key focus. Maybe the the stuff that they'll be talking on. Maybe the points. So the speaker, let me put my name there. Then the topic, speaking on we are we are talking on video sum video sum hey am i spelling it right is that how it's spelled okay uh then scripture my favorite scripture uh yes then key focus um <laughs> uh nice so have you seen how it has nicely layered everything for me over here very simple it just it just layers it automatically once you leave the spaces in between them. You can also decide to maybe create it in verses if you want. So maybe verse one, and decide to put each of them in verses. But it's already done here. But if you want to do it, no problem. You can do that. Then over here, I have my name here. So it gives me a background. That's not the background I want. So I go back to background, scroll through the main uh, stuff, look for a nice looking. Um, I think I need to get more backgrounds here because this these are boring actually. Yeah, let's go with this. Yes, then it looks really nice. So yeah, we have each of them like different. You can change them for each of them. So before you start the service, make sure you do all this so that it doesn't you know spoil anything in the service, uh, you know live stream or something. Um, for forgetting of one thing, I think in order to save the agenda, you just go here. Then now you can select where you want to save it. Then yeah type the name for it if you want to import a um, new document i'm trying to figure out some things i forgot okay i think from here you want to bring in a new document uh yeah i think you can do it from here and also let's say you want to add new songs you move to import images this is where you'd add the new songs from yeah then i think if you want to delete yeah explore the image for that you can do it from here all right so there are a lot of other information you may need to know or you may want to know i just recommend you you know going around testing out each and every feature you can just play with all the features nice features we have here it's very simple to use and you can just play around with them before maybe you start the actual service in that way you know a lot about it as you you know progress with it it's not difficult at all this is just a simple beginner's guide to how how i started using the software without really learning much yes so, well, um, I think we'll end the video from here. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and share to others who are in need of this kind of videos. And uh, so that we'll get in touch with the regular tech team. I also have videos on how to use uh, Easy Worship and also how to record uh, live stream with a mobile device to YouTube. Well, the videos are there. Thanks for watching this video and I'll be with you in the next one. Peace out.